Oh. Go ahead, get your butt back in there. Go ahead, go. Crazy boy. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Butter the Great. And in this video, I got a tunnel cover. It just came in the mail a couple days ago. It's been sitting outside. Wait for me to get a chance to install it. So I'm gonna try to beat the rain because it's saying it was supposed to rain in a couple hours, but then saying it's not supposed to rain, but you can see how the clouds look. It like it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna try to see what I can get the tunnel cover installed on my T-Rex before the rain comes. Oh, oh, he, oh they getting it. <laughs> they getting it. But anyway, I'm gonna try to see if I get my tunnel cover installed on my T-Rex in record time before I get rained out. And we're gonna do all of that in this video. So enough of this fluff. Let's install this stuff. So my gate is already down. And this is the box my tunnel cover came in. Now, uh, it's a little wet because it has been raining the last three, four days. So this is a tuxedo Pro 15 bed cover for a Dodge Ram 1500, five foot seven bed. So like I said, don't take the quality of this box as a indication of how it's shipped. Like I said, it's been raining on this porch and I have not taken it inside. So everything is as how I've gotten it. So let's see. And you can see, I did not get a big expensive bed cover because I really do not plan on having anything expensive in my bed or actually use my bed for much of anything, a nice cheap little cover would do. If you wanna know where I got this bed cover from, if you need anything for your uh, Ram 1500 or Trackhawk or whatever, or need some wheels, you can hit up my buddy at Johnny at Just Bolt Ons and he can hook you up with what you need. Uh, let's see, what is this? I guess these are like clamps, so. <laughs> oh, don't mind the ridge vents and the nails. I just had the uh, the roof put on my house. I was gonna do it myself, but I don't have time to <laughs> do that many projects nowadays. Thank you for your recent bed cover purchase. Tuxedo Designs, the manufacturer of the best quality and longest lasting truck bed covers on the planet. Oh, you put this on your river mirror. Owner's manual, blah, blah, blah. Reading is fundamental, but I'm not gonna read all this crap. Because all I wanna do is look at pictures. Okay. Let us see what we got, chill. So we got two of these rails. That should be simple and straightforward. One going on one side, one going on the other side. Some of the weather shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my rails on over here. Deploy the bed step. Okay. That is not long enough. If your pickup has factory bear caps, you need to install the bulk up seal surviving ship box. If you have at the market bear caps, we recommend that you call custom service to purchase bulkhead seal for your install. So you gonna tell me that I'm gonna have to purchase a longer one? Oh wow, this is crazy. I'm gonna call them too. Hold up, hold up, time out, time out. Why does it always happen to me? I mean, come on, man. I mean, first I got blemishes in my bumper. Then I got these little little divot and little scratch marks in my fender flares. Then, you know, I didn't film this part, but earlier, well, like a day or two before I filmed this video, I bought a trailer from uh, Lowe's and I brought it 10, 15 minutes home to my house and the damn wheel fell off. Not like the actual bolts to the wheel fell off, but the actual whole hub assembly just came off of it because someone, I guess, forgot to put like the cotter pin in on the axle. 
So I had that happen to me. And now here I go installing this tunnel cover and apparently the weather stripping is short. I mean, this right here is getting to a point where I'm going like, what is going on with American quality lately? The TRX got issues. I can't get parts for the TRX because they got issues. And now I can't get a trailer for the TRX because they got issues, right? I mean, this is just getting crazy. Now there's nothing different about the size of the big compared to any other 1500. So theoretically, if I bought this for a tradesman, it's going to fit a TRX, right? Because I know some people are gonna say, well, the fenders are wider, but the, the actual bed itself is the same exact width on every single Ram 1500. So there should be no reason why this weather stripping is like about three inches short. Now, this is why I say to buy a product from someone you trust, right? Because when I bought this from Johnny, Johnny's real cool. If you are a Ram TRX owner or a Ram 15 owner, He's one of us, he has RAM product. Now I didn't have to call Johnny, all I did was message him and about 15 minutes later, I got a response back saying the tuxedo was saying that there are some kits that are missing some weather strip, but not missing it, but for some reason, some of them are come shorter. And then he was telling me that I, I did this install Wednesday and he told me by Friday, I would have a whole new thing of weather stripping sent to me. And I actually did because this part right here I'm filming is two, three days after I filmed the video. So. I got all that taken care of, so that's why I say, if you're gonna get a product from someone, make sure it's someone you can trust. I can't say the same thing for other people I've purchased products from. They get your money, get ghosts, and you gotta track them down for however long it takes you to get in touch with them again, right? So, like I said, if you need anything, I've showed that list, I'm gonna show it again. If you need anything for any one of these vehicles, heck, even if you need something for another vehicle, he says he has about 200-ish type vendors he can get stuff from, so, if it's anything you need automobile related, please hit up Johnny. Now, this is not me telling you to do this because I get a kickback. This is just simply me helping out a guy that is very helpful to pretty much all of us. Because if you're on the forums or you're in the Facebook group, you know that Johnny is a very good, reliable person to get products from. Now, back to the video. Just saying. Oh, thank you. So we need to lock it like this. Let's loosen it up some more. And then these two right here is a good And then we secure. Oh yeah, I see what it means. Cause right there, if you don't secure that gap, then you're gonna have a water leak on the front side. But that gave me the wrong leaf. Let's see. Now you might be wondering why in the world did I not get like a backflip or something hard or one of those hard covers. Well, I don't plan on storing anything back here. Anyway, I just want to cover just to keep uh, rain and stuff from getting in here. Cause you see, I got pollen and stuff already in here. So that's the only thing I just want to keep out here. So I don't see the point of spending $2,000 for protection that I'm not going to use it to store really anything but there's no point in me spending an extra fifteen hundred dollars for like one of those real nice little either metal or back foot covers especially one of the ones that add a, a little bit more weight i wanted the lightest thing i can probably get and this thing right here seemed like that would have been it what the fudge So is that why that side got a gap on it? Because it was on this mount. <clears throat> Dang Skippy. Oh God, this is starting to piss me off. Like I took it out of the box on camera. So you can see, I didn't really do anything crazy to it. This is how it came. 
someone stuff piece that stopped water from coming in, they shoved it in this particular frame rail. So now I gotta take this daggone rail off again, just to daggone put it together right. Crazy. American quality in my ass. Incompetence, incompetence. Everybody's going to blame COVID. Tell me what it is. What you want from me? What you want from me? Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise Going through a phase, gotta get myself out of it Don't talk about it, boy, they said you gotta be about it So I be trying to face the world head on Front seat riding, cruising down the meadows Pedal to the meadow, cool breeze blowing down the windows Calm trees blowing trees, get that boy some headroom On an interstate in traffic, but I swerve I was What's the moves for the night, what's the word now? What's the link, hit me up, we could go now I got hella pieces, she got hella features Give me hella geeked up. She be blowing shisha. Reef on me loud. Hope them boys don't creep up. I don't know a thing if you do not speak up. In my own world, I don't try to care. Girl, tell me what you want. Don't be trying to front like I ain't what you want. I ain't here to stun. Let me take you out for lunch. I'ma get you drunk. Yeah, filling on your buns. Licks in the blunt. I got ash in my cup. All these girls showing up, but I don't give a fuck. Cause you the one I want, girl. You the one I want. Girl, you the one I want. Hey, come and show me Shorty life. wanna be a rider And I'm feeling hot Oh, I got a dirt bike, boys Yep, there you go Every Sunday, like clockwork clockwork okay oh we got that out of the way Slide until you hear a click. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's lovely. And then I'm going to bend this thing up. I'll slide this over. There you go. This side was already clicked over in place. Uh, okay, so that was like that. So I'm going to slide this frame rail up. Okay. And now I need to slide these pins. Yeah. 
Why does this one side want to stick up? some of the lines out of it. Stretching it out this way. All right, so. Uh, some nice little scissors to cut that little nubbies off. Don't like that part of it. And probably when the sun comes out, it'll probably get some of those wrinkles out. But I gotta figure out what to do about this piece right here. Listen, don't mind the dirty interior. I got to wash it. One thing I found out, one, two, three, four. Bam. Found out the other day. Our install. Yeah, that part does uh, stay down. Yeah, it's gonna piss me off. Fixed it. I just had to stretch it out some more in the back. Huh. So, there we go. Simple mod on the TRX. A cheap little bed cover. I just wanted something lightweight because uh, I'm going to try to do some things to uh, take weight off the back of the truck. Well, not off the back of it, but. But uh, there we go. Nice, simple little mod. Pretty straightforward. I wish it was a little bit better. But hey, it's only five miles, and I get to cover my bed up. So I'll probably get like maybe one of those hard plastic ones probably in the future. Just depends on how I feel about this one. See if this uh, settles, because I just don't like how it just sits a little bit higher than my tailgate sits. So I'm probably going to uh, call Tuxedo. I'm going to have to call them about that uh, weather stripping and see when I can get a piece for that. And then uh, see if this is supposed to stick up past my tailgate. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna do what everyone think I'm gonna do and flip out and, and make a whole YouTube video about shaming Tuxedo or whoever makes that bed cover. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say, I mean, come on, dude. I mean, this whole COVID and quality thing, I mean, really people, just cause people are on the staff don't mean you can't put the dag on weather stripping on the right rail, right? I had to take that whole freaking rail back off, put that piece of wood stripping on there. But at least I can say it did come with her. I can't say too much about other people missing bolts and holes. Well, not missing hoses, but not hooking their hoses up right. Just saying. But other than the wood stripping being the wrong length and then that other little piece that was on that passenger frame rail, I had to move to the drive frame rail, take that one off. I mean, this install would have gone pretty fast. But I say, I say about. 45, 50 minutes it took me to do the whole install. I probably could have did it in 20 if I had to deal with all the extra nonsense, right? I mean, literally just one rail, one rail, and then the cover, and then that's basically it, right? I mean, it's not rocket science, but 
hey, everyone want to blame COVID and have these COVID quality issue excuses and it just made the install take twice as long. Now, I know some people probably say, well, if you would have got like a one little three piece little backflip covers or a retracts cover or whatever, it would have been easier or simpler or whatever. But I mean, I get it. But like I said, I don't want to spend no almost two thousand dollars and not going to use the bed for really anything. Right. I mean, I got a Chevy Avalanche that has a bed on it too. So, right. I mean, that vehicle is like 10, 15 years old. So I'm not worried about scratching it up and all that other stuff because heck, it's been through like 15 years of use. So if I got to do truck stuff, I'll do it with that truck or SUV or whatever you want to call it. This is technically an SUV and a truck put together. But overall, not bad for the first model of my TRX. Now I got a couple more mods coming up in the next few videos. Um, I got screen protector. I got um, the power steps. I got a secret mod that I'm gonna be the first in the world to have that I'm not gonna tell you about. What else do I have coming? Oh, I got a wrap coming. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of wheels and tires I wanna do. I don't know if I wanna stay with 18s and move with the 20s. I'm pretty sure I don't wanna do 22s. I just, I'm probably gonna do step with maybe a 20 and probably just stick with 35s. Because I mean, the only thing that's really holding me back from getting you know a bigger wheel and tire package is if I go to the 20s, then I'm not gonna find a tire that's rated up to 117. Right. I mean, I wish there was a 20 or 22 inch tire that's rated to maybe 130, 140. That way I can get the governor taken off of it. I can go faster because sometimes when you're going in Mexico and you got a Durango 392 trying to race it, you can smoke them. But once you go past 117, they just take off like you're nothing. Just saying. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Everything you do help me provide the content that I can. I'm gonna try to do my best to follow like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday type schedule for uploads for the next uh, probably couple months. I have to kind of see how my work schedule is because the last time I checked, I got like a big project coming up from like May to August. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about these next few months and not a lot of time to do it. So like I said earlier, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned because we got a lot of stuff to go through. And until the next video, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do.